Hello everyone, um, today this video is going to be the results where I actually am going to answer the question of the Q&A. Okay, I, gotta, I just gotta pause this video. Okay, so without further ado, let's answer some of the questions you guys um, have commented during the video. Okay, so... Let's start with um, Sparkster28. Yep, I know who you are. Anyways, here's your question you have um, comment, commented to me. What grade are you in and what's your favorite subject in school? Um, currently, I am, in, I am a junior in high school, so hopefully next year I'm going to um, graduate and probably get to decide my own decision what I would do for my life and my favorite subjects basically it's art it's just art I just love the graphics I just love um I love that kind of stuff like I like um, when people draw characters like they make it per so perfect sometimes they um that's basically cool. It would lead to several careers like becoming an artist or become a gaming designer or whatever it is. Like I know a college that basically um they would teach you that kind of stuff. Anyways, next question. This one's from Payro the Men. I'm sorry if, sorry if I um misspell miss said it. Anyways, Here's your question. What is your preferred console? I mean, pfft, sorry. What is you, your preferred console and handheld? Also, what is your favorite franchise? I think you meant like which ones I, um, which ones I prefer better? Uh, a home console or a handheld? Um, to be honest with you, as much as I as much as I do also have um, some whole console games and some stuff like that, I think I prefer handheld consoles just because um, I can play it on the go, anytime I want, whenever I want, and as long as I want. <laughs> so yeah, you could catch that. Like, you, you get it, right? Anyways, what's my favorite franchise? Um... Let me tell you, my favorite franchise is Pokemon. Yeah, it's Pokemon. <laughs> okay, as I was going to say is that um, ever since I was younger, basically, I was in 5th uh, grade or 4th. No, wait, it's 4th grade. My first Pokemon game I ever had was Fire Red. Yep, the Game Boy times. Anyways... Ever since I got Pokemon Fire Red, I got so hooked with it and able to train the Pokemons and stuff. Um, but I didn't really come close to beating the LE4 yet still. <laughs> even even now I have not played it. I've been playing other Pokemon games and stuff. I I did defeat LE4 in some of the games like um like Platinum, Black, um I think I'm almost there with white. Where, whatever the cost. Anyways. Um. Okay. Next question. Do you have a Wii U? If not, are you planning getting on the Wii U? Okay. This one's from Zav, ten ten. Yeah, Zav ten ten. Um. I have a Wii U console. I just bought it my for my birthday two months ago. So it's basically a um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker theme or so. I mean, you could tell by the the gamepad. I don't have it here. I'm not home. Let's just say I'm in my father's house. I'm in my little brother's room. Seems like he was he's busy at the time right now. So yeah, he's not gonna come in here um, interrupting us at the moment. Anyways, you have another question. Uh, what kind of character is your favorite in Fire Emblem games? 
like archer, swordsman, magic users, etc. Okay, um, let me let me space out here. Let me um, let me say a little quick thing just to make things quicker to say in the confession. I don't really play Fire Emblem games, but Fire Emblem Awakening is apparently the first Fire Emblem games I ever have. This is this is my first and only Fire Emblem games I ever had. Um, I might, if any, if there's any Fire Emblem games that are for the DS, I might download it in the in my R4. Um, because if anything, whatever's better. Um, yeah, I'm not sure though. Um, but I'll probably check that out. I'm still going to do Fire Emblem. I'm sorry if I haven't do any walkthroughs of it for a long time. And let's not forget siding with um Pokemon Mystery Dungeons, um Gates to Infinity, Infinity, Pokemon Bumble Blast, or stuff like that. Basically, I'm trying to. F I want to finish Pokemon Bumble Blast and Super Smash Brothers before I st I start to continue with the games I have not been um recording for a very long time. And I'm also going to do Pokemon X and Y. Um, they're on YouTube now, so you could basically watch them. Um, I only made a probably um 11 or 12 walkthroughs. I'm not really sure. Anyways, anyways, for the question, um, I think I don't know. Like, I think I most likely like um. I like both Swordsman and Magic, but I think Magic, they're also pretty cool because, um, you can also, like, keep it distance from them or whatsoever. Kind of like Archers, but Archers, they only attack if you're one distance away from the enemy. But while Magic, they can do distance and close to the en enemies. So yeah, magic users, I think they're basically my favorite, especially, um, my avatar is, um, a Tactician or something, if that's how you basically call it. Hopefully I can, um, turn my avatar into a Grandmaster class. So yeah. Swordsmans are pretty cool too, like the Lords, um, Swordmasters, Mercenaries. Okay, mm, and yes, I will link this video on YouTube, I mean, by PMs, I'm going to list everyone, and then just send it to them so that they can basically look at this. Anyways, next question, um, this was from, from a, a, a friend of mine, Pokemon493 fan, he says, what's your favorite video game of all time? And what gaming company do you like most? Microsoft, Sony, or Nintendo? Okay. Um, my favorite game of all time. Um, oh gosh. That I have no clue yet. To be very honest, I have no clue yet. That's basically because I have, might have played so many. I just have no clue which one would be my best of all time. But, here's how I'm going to um, make it up to you. Or if I end up countering um, questions that are basically similar. Or so in any way. I am going to make like my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Maybe this is my way, this is going to be my way to make it up. One day I'm going to make a video to be like my top 10 videos or so. Because I've been seeing um, some people been doing that and it kind of inspired me and I think like, like as if like I should start doing something like that just to show, um, just to show that, to see which is my favorite, or like what characters I don't like, what ca characters do I like, or basically about the endings or so. Anyways, but I am going to answer your second question though, most definitely. 
and that my the gaming company that I like the most is apparently obviously Nintendo. I didn't really play much of uh, Microsoft or any Sony games, so Nintendo has been the games I basically played the most, honestly. Okay, this one's from the Game Informer. Apparently, he has um three questions to access. Anyways, what do you love much about the YouTube or Let's Play commentary? Well, um, that's basically e that's easy. Um, when you do when you do an LP, it's like um, it's a good way of um promoting. It's like a way of um. It's like a good way to. I don't know how to explain this. Like, it's a good way to like show how cool the game is. Like, it kind of like spreads the like of the people and then to think that they can buy it too and then start playing it. It's like you're kind of like persuading them to like to get it. Like, you're recommending that the game is recommended for anyone and then to basically get it. Um, what I also thought of it thought of it is like um it's like you're showing great memories to people that about your great moments of that LP. It could be funny, it could be sad, it could be frustrating. It's like you're putting your heart into that LP because you love the game so much. You love you love like there's gotta be something you really love about um when you do an LP commentary. And I feel like, like, I thank YouTube for letting us do this kind of opportunity because the truth is, um, gaming is basically the highest rank in YouTube just because, like, even if it's not, uh, LPs, it could be, um, reviews, top 10s or top 20s, it could basically be, um, commercials, trailers, it could be anything that, anything that has have to do that has something to do with gaming. If it's anything something to do with um, video games. Okay, so <laughs> that's basically my opinion there. Um, this is your second question. It says, what is your top 10 favorite Nintendo games? Like I said, I am not going to answer that either because one day I, w because I am planning to make it to make a top 10 favorite video games and if I just say it now it's just going to basically spoil and it's going to ruin it and um okay but I am going to answer your last question there and this is a real good one if you only if you had only one day left to live what would you want more video games YouTube internet or friends and family Hope you like my questions. Yeah, I love your question. <laughs> I love your questions. They're very interesting. Anyways, um, as much let me tell you this. As much as I love video games and like wishing I could just play twenty four seven, but I when when it comes to my final days, I just feel like I I don't want to die alone. I just want to at least be dead inside a person's arms. I want to die in someone's arms. So yeah, friends and family would be my choice. I just want to hug somebody before I basically die. Before I um I let go my breath to feel in peace. But anyway, since but don't worry, I'm not going to die today. I am not going to die tomorrow. I am so young. And I'm still going to do LPs for you guys because you know that you guys love that kind of stuff. And I know I love that kind of stuff. Okay, that, that's it for the third question. Okay, this one's from Game Day J. Okay, buddy. He says, hmm, okay. Well then, are you getting a next gem system? I told you before, I already got the Wii U. Um, oh, sorry, that, that, that's, my little, that's my little sister there. I am very sorry about that. Anyways, just ignore the backgrounds or whatsoever. Anyways, 
But yes, I already got a Wii U. Like I said before, two months ago. I just got it two months ago. Okay, so next question of his, it says, do you have long hair? My hair is long as like, um, it's in, uh, the length is up to in the middle of my back. That's how long my hair is. I just put it up in, my, in a ponytail. Anyways, um, okay, what was the first console you started gaming on? Um, wait, hold on. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Um, my little sister keeps constantly wanting to open the door. Don't worry though, I asked, I told her to go over there. Anyways. Anyways, my first console I started gaming on, that was basically the Game Boy Advance. I left it at home, um, I have a bunch of the Game Boy games I got. I got Teeny Nature Turtles, I got, um, a Sonic game, got Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance, that's funny. I got, I got some, um, Pokemon games, some Kirby games, yeah, S some Super Mario, what, you name it, you name it, I have, um, all that. <gasps> Ah, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but the age I first got it, um, I was basically either three or four years old, and I was so hooked with it. I was basically hooked with it. So, um, anyways, what's your favorite sport? Um, how would I put this? Yeah, I like sports. I sometimes just watch um I sometimes watch the baseball, football, basketball, whatever's on. Um but my favorite's gotta be kickball. That's basically it. Um just kickball. Once in a while I sometimes play basketball, so yeah, I'll play any sports if you want if you guys want. Like if I, maybe if I met, met you guys, if I met one of you in person if you want to play sports, that's fine by me. I'll play sports with you. <laughs> Anyways, do you have any pets? Yes, uh, dog. She's a mix. She's a mix. Um, poodle and I don't know what other, but um, because um, she's a mix because um, you know how a poodle when they're adults, they're very big and tall. Well, my dog is not like that. She's she is a poodle, but her size she's very small. So, so yeah, she's a mix on um, poodle and um, gotta be another one. I'm not really sure. I have no clue. Anyways, but yeah, a poodle is my only dog. Um, Ginger, I name her Ginger. She's the only dog. She's the only um pet I got. She's at my grandmother's right now, so... Finally, what got you into doing YouTube videos? Um... Let's just say I have, um, watched some of, um... Celebrity YouTube gamers. I have watched some of those people doing an LP, and I thought that it was really cool. Like, they showed their, expre their expressions, they showed their, um, moments. Where either like it's just a lucky shot, or should I say beginner's luck, or like <laughs> showing frustrations, it's just hilarious. And uh, there are also like miracle times. <laughs> you you know what I mean when it comes when I say a miracle time, or a miracle moment. Anyways. Okay, so that's it for Game Day J. Next, this question, um, Super Sixty Four One Three Four. Um, okay, he says that what's my favorite Nintendo game? Again, I'm going to make a top ten favorite Nintendo game of all time. So if I just spoil it here, I'm going to ruin it. But this is me. I want to make it a surprise. I want to make it a surprise. So.
So I'm gonna keep that in mind. For those questions that basically indicate of like what's my favorite Nintendo game of all time, I will I will keep this in mind so that um one day if I get the chance, I will do it. Because I will definitely do it. And that's a promise. That's a promise. That's my way of um, answering the question. So just because um, it's on YouTube doesn't mean it's over. Just because this vi this video is on YouTube doesn't mean you can't answer anymore. I'm still going to um, show a way to basically answer the question. Okay, this one's from Sardugunner M92. What is your favorite Nintendo character? I mean, what's your favorite character of all time in video games, anime, and comic books? Okay, this one's tricky. There are a couple of characters that I consider them as my favorite. It's like, I don't know, it's like... I haven't been really watching um, anime for a very long time because I'm because of school and stuff. And for the comic books, I don't really read much comic books, but I, I love comic books. I would read a lot of comic books if I, if I have free time most of the time. But since because of school and stuff like that. But anyways, my favorite my favorite video game character. Oh, but you I could say something about comic books and video games. Anyways, my favorite character is Falcon Lombardi. He's bashful, he's very cocky, he's um he's kind hearted. Well, the inside. He could be a real jerk sometime, but but um he could be kind-hearted in time. I don't know, I just feel inspiration about him. Being all brave and tough. And yeah, he, he um, there's also a comic book that starts him, starting him. It's basically called Star Fox on Pharaoh, Our Beloved Falco. Have you guys ever read the book? It was basically in the, if, if not, let me tell you this, just to make this a piece of information in your mind. You see, Star Fox, um, Pharaoh, our beloved Falco, is an event between Star Fox 64 and the event before Star Fox Adventure. So, this is why there was a eight year gap between, um, um, for Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Adventures, because after four years later from Star Fox 64, this is where the event in the comet goes. That's basically why um, Falco Lombardi was basically absent in Star Fox Adventures because he basically left the team in the end. It kind of get they don't really show like where he is at during those four years, but yeah. I thought he was gone for eight years, but no, he was gone for four years. Ever since I read the comic, the comic book, I was like, "Ah!" Oh. But basically, this is not the. That's not really the only comic book um they made about Star Fox. There's also Star Fox sixty four for the comics, and there's also there's also another one. Like I guess this was something to do with um. For the for Star Fox for the for the NES or the Super Sy Super Nintendo Entertainment System, I don't really remember. I don't know. It's like there's a lot of strange things happening with um the Star Fox franchise and the Star Fox series. There are some points they go uphill and then they go downhill, but that that will be leading in another time. Just so you know. Um, okay, last but not least, this was from the Gaming Master guys. What's your least favorite video game? Normally, I wouldn't answer something about what's your favorite whatsoever. 
But since he says least, anyways, uh, <laughs> ignore the background. Anyways, um, there's base there's this game like something to do like if you're trying you're trying to take care of sea animals, but the only one thing that made me hate the game so much. Is apparently they're, they're basically call themselves like the sea animal polices. They give you only a limited time. They, they don't show you the timer, like only in a certain point of the game. Like if this this happens a lot in the game, and if you're not quick enough to try to um take care of the the sea animals like the dolphins, the flamingos, yeah, they they sh they give flamingos. I don't know why. They even show like whales and stuff like that. If you're not quick enough to take care of them, it shows a screen that's saying, "Oh, you fell. You, I thought you can. I thought you have one. You have what it takes to become a uh, like a caretaker for these sea animals in the of the sea park zoo." But I guess you don't have one it takes, and then you basically have to start over the chapter all over again. It, it's it's really hard. Um, sorry, my. My lip, my lit, my little sister. Go, over, go over there. Well, I need, I need my clothes. Oh darn. Anyways, that's all the que that's all the questions for now. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Just in time, mom. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, hopefully, I, I, I hope you guys are satisfied with most of the questions I did answer to you. And don't worry, I and again, I will make my, my top 10 vid favorite video games of all time. So, um, I'll see you guys. Bye!